The first of a new family of all-electric cars from Hyundai expects smaller Ioniq 3s and 4s and a larger Ioniq 6 in the fullness of time. And expect those to be rather excellent machines, if this first effort is anything to go by. Nope, the Koreans have been quietly making decent electric cars for some time now. The old teardrop-shaped Ioniq was available as a pure EV, though most left the factory as mild hybrids, and for a few years now we've been seriously impressed by the Kona Electric, a small crossover which embarrasses the likes of an Audi e-tron and Jaguar I-Pace for battery range. Worthy as those cars are, Hyundai realized it wasn't going to get a foothold in the EV gold rush alongside the likes of the VW ID cars unless it wrapped up everything it had learned about going electric in a body that turned a few heads and then drop jaws into laps when we clapped eyes on the interior. And this is what makes the Ioniq 5 one of 2021 standout star cars. It's an EV you'll want to own just from clapping eyes on it, before the range and features seal the deal. This is easily the biggest head turner among EVs right now. No fake grill, just a light motif that bleeds through the front trim. The front frown looks purposeful, the creased sides are brave, and the lead festooned rear is pure Pixar movie robot. It's a tremendous piece of car design that somehow hits all the aero and pedestrian safety targets while looking like a cross between a DeLorean hot hatch and a prop from Blade Runner. Optical illusion, that. While the Ioniq 5 can appear in pictures to be the same size as the Wii Honda E and Fiat 500e, it's actually a large Range Rover Evoque sized crossover masquerading as a family hatch. It rides on a new, bespoke Hyundai platform set to underpin a fleet of new EVs with the usual mix-and-match approach to front and rear motors and a skateboard slab of batteries under the floor. Hyundai's made a boon of that by giving the Ioniq 5 a raised seating position and an upright, airy glass house. So it feels spacious, and it's easy to place in town. The entry-level Ioniq 5 costs £36,995. The only propulsion option is a 168 brake horsepower rear motor powered by a 58 kilowatt hours battery good for a claimed 238 miles of range. Go for the 39,000 pound middle trim and you have the option of a 73 kilowatt hours battery, upping range to 298 miles. Power is also boosted to 215 brake horsepower. Or, you can go all out with a second motor up front, dropping range by 10% in exchange for over 300 brake horsepower, and 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. On the near, pound 50k ultimate trim level called, um, ultimate, you still get the choice of all three powertrains, but Hyundai will tempt you with 20-inch rims, a head-up display, and the ability to use your car to power other electrical devices. Even other EVs. Seriously. That Hyundai is now confident enough to put a car as bold looking as the Ioniq 5 on sale is impressive. But the fact this retro XXL hot hatch bodywork conceals one of the most complete family EVs money can buy is downright remarkable. If Hyundai can maintain this momentum behind the upcoming members of the Ioniq family, then the likes of VW's ID cars and even Mercedes's EQ clan ought to be extremely worried. By taking the punt that people are more likely to be converted to EV ownership if the car is desirable as an object and an experience, and gambling that there's more to life than the European player's softly softly donty offend anyone approach, Hyundai has built one of 2021's exceptional cars. Of course, we said much the same about BMW's Brave i3, and that pretty much sunk as a business case. Whoops. Here's hoping beyond the pre-order hype, Hyundai's onto something here. The future of semi-interesting family motoring could depend upon it. The world has plenty of normal hatchbacks pretending to be SUVs. The Ioniq 5 is the opposite. This is a commanding driving position in a car that looks like a chunky hatchback. You sit eye to eye with van drivers. The drive selector control is a bit of a fiddle, hidden low and to the right of the slender steering wheel. Twist it this way and that for drive and reverse. The paddle shifters intuitively add and remove regen braking. Slowing up for a roundabout by clicking them, instead of tapping the brake pedal, quickly becomes the Ioniq 5's inbuilt gain. Brake pedal feel itself is better than the likes of the Mercedes EQA, more progressive and reassuring. 
So far, we've only tested the flagship range topper, complete with all-wheel drive and 443 pounds foot as you'd expect for a car that's quicker from 0 to 62 miles per hour than a Golf GTI. This grunt shrugs off the Ioniq's 2020 kg curb weight and makes this car a serious piece of A-road overtaking kit. Emphatically not. And while Hyundai's end division has mooted they'll be working their magic on the Ioniq in due course, we're not necessarily sure that's a good idea. This is a deeply unsporty car, but don't for a second presume that's a bad thing. Sure, it's fast, but tails off about 80 miles per hour. There's no discernible motor whine, and though Hyundai went for old-school mirrors instead of rear-view cameras, wind noise is well hushed. It steers quickly, to imbue a sense of agility, but here the weight and general unsportiness catches up with the Ioniq 5. This is not a car you'll seek out corners in, it's a car that deals with them, just fine, and gets on with its day. The suspension comes from the old school of soaking up bumps, not keeping the car as flat as possible in a bend. Instead, you marvel at touches like a rear-view camera view popping up on the digidash whenever you indicate, to expose any hidden cyclists in your blind spot. You lope along and let the Ioniq 5 waft, as a big premium German SUV might, except without the bolshiness and sense of disdain from other motorists.